Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology question. And, um, well, the um, questions for this video, this is a kind of a questions and answer video for a few things that people have asked me that I will actually put in uh, this video here for different things. So first of all, Windows 12, one of the questions that was asked is about minimum requirements. Um, well, you know, it's not out and there's no talk about it. So, of course, mostly it's speculation. But my way of thinking about Windows 12 is going to be that for the Windows 12 minimum requirements, um, Windows 11 is now in hybrid mode, meaning it has a minimum requirement that's higher than Windows 10, but it's not a system that does absolutely require an NPU or a neural processing unit. So what happens with that? It simply means that you are still capable of running Windows 11. It's just that some features won't exist on a standard PC. My thinking of Windows 12 minimum requirements is that we'll move full speed ahead into a PC with NPU, which means I do think Windows 12 will require a neural processing unit to be compatible. So for a lot of people, it's like, well, you know, they're going to shoot themselves in the foot with that. They're not because it is protected that a hell of a lot of PCs will have an NPU by the end of this year, actually, if things go well, and even uh, this will even be um, growing faster in 2026. So if we look at a possible release, let's, let's just speculate that end of 2026, Windows 12 is a thing. It's almost two years and um, already NPUs and PCs with NPUs are starting to sell. And by the end of this year, it's supposed to be a big chunk of the PCs sold that will have NPUs. And 2026 will be worse. We have a lot of computers that are old computers running Windows 10. We're going to get end of support. We're going to get extension. Uh, well, that, I think, is going to be uh, something to think about where people are finally going to buy a new PC because that's the way it happens. I um, mean, you know, I see a lot of people that are like, well, you know, people won't move on. They won't buy a new PC. Yeah, they will. It's always been the cycle with Windows. It's always going to be like that because people just work like that. People have no idea what Linux is and people don't want Linux. It's, it's funny how, you know, uh, too many people are in that denial of, you know, well, you know, well, Linux is going to take on. It's not. Um, you know, it's, it's a geek thing and it's very specialized for those that know things about PCs that are enthusiasts, not regular folks. Um, the other thing about Windows 12 is that it will probably be heavily AI type operating system. You know, it will be a continuation of the Windows 11 Copilot plus PCs. And if, you know, they go ahead with recall and still want to have recall, well, it's not complicated. We'll be in a world where all of that is happening. We'll be in a world where, um, you know, recall is in Windows 12 and every PC, uh, hopefully uninstallable and, and, you know, like it is right now. Uh, and and opt in, but um, that will be Windows 12, and we'll see up to what point AI and Windows and PCs continue. Because you know, how many times did we have huge new features, a huge new hardware, to end up with well, nobody's using it. So it all depends what's going to happen. But I think Windows 12 is definitely another minimum requirement jump. Maybe not. Well, you know, it will be because the minimum requirement for a CPU will be a CPU with NPU. So that will be a jump for Intel AMD CPUs. We'll also have the Snapdragon. And by that time, we'll have all other choices also. AMD will be jumping on the 
uh, uh, the bandwagon of, you know, making uh, ARM CPUs. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, this is pretty much what I think is going to happen with Windows 12. And I don't expect a Windows 12 until at least the end of 2026. Um, I don't think it's going to happen before then. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.